Ladies and gentlemen, an aunt versus a niece. <laughs> Only sister ya your late mom. Yeah. Uyu bwanake ndo alianza kukukatia. Mm. Alikuwa anakujanga huko ananiambia ananipenda, akaniita mm. niende kwa nyu kwa, mm. kwa room yao. Alikuwa anarudi mapema hiyo siku. Kurudi nitapata kama analala na huyo mtoto wangu. The show that you watching is about real people who have made real mistakes and whom it has taken them a lot of courage to expose themselves and their issues on TV. Please, and I ask of you, please, let us not troll them on social media. Instead, let us learn from their mistakes. Because today, it is them. Tomorrow, it could be me. The day after tomorrow, it could be you. Remember, this is not a reenacted or a scripted show. This is a real show. This is Kupatana show. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to invite on the show the one and only uh, Liz. Liz? Yes. Karibu on the show. Karibu sana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sasa. Sasa. Please, Karibu, have a seat. How are you? I'm fine. Kwa sawa kabisa? Nataka relax, utulie. Mm. Eh, ushafika hapa. So kama ulikuwa na courage kufika hapa that means now the rest sasa ni kuniacha mimi na Bernard Jones tuwe kwa hebu kusettle. So everything kidogo kinyo tu ambia watu kwa show is that when you get here the only thing we asking for is honesty, eh, transparency, uko hebu kufungua roho if for real mmoja kwa msamaha. Mm. Lazima pia si tuifi na mwenye unaomba msamaha lazima pia afi. Mm. Una get? Si lazima msameane na leo. Mm. Lakini the main important thing is mfike to a conclusion. The main important thing ni ku have a closure. Mm. Mweze kuelewana. So kama mtasameana, tuna hope msameane. But kama itafika hapo at least mko hebu kufungulia na roho, ni mm. kila mtu ende kama amejua exactly what happened mm. na nini nilikuwa sikenyele hapa. Si ndio? Na uliza mia. How do we get how did we get kwa situation ya wewe kulala na na bwana ya your aunt yeah first of all mko marafiki before that eh tulikuwa marafiki eh tulikuwa anga vile nilichi na aunt yangu eh alikuwa anga anatoka huko job vile nilikuwa anaenda na shule eh na rudijioni na tayari alikuwa anga na rudijioni eh hatu hapo ndo tulikuwa anga tuna meet mhm mhm So majoni ndo time kila mtu akiingia kwa nyumba. Eh, yeah, na auntie alikuwa anga kwa duka. Oh, duka ilikuwa mbali? Ilikuwa tu karibu tu lakini mm. tulikuwa tunaishi chini mm. na anaishi huko huko juu. Oh, so, kwa barabara sasa. Kwa barabara. Mm. So duka iko kwa barabara lakini hao iko side ya chini. Eh. Yeah. Hazel kwenda kwa kazi sana ngapi? Alikuwa anga anafunga kitu kwa saa tatu hivi. Saa tatu usiku. Yeye alikuwa anafanya nini? Anauza tu vitu za duka. Vitu za duka. Kwa duka the same pia. Mm. Bwana yake. Bwana. Bwana yake alikuwa anafanya anafanya kazi ya welding. Ya welding. Hapo mm. around two pia. Yeye yeah, anafanya doni. Doni. Yeah. Ebu nilize. Um only sister ya your late mom. Yeah. May her soul rest in peace. Yeah. Uyu bwana yake ndo alianza kukukatia ama what really happened? Ini nilifanya nataka uniambie story lizi. So that ni kwa hebu kujua nikaanza kusaidia ku solve eh mm. ni solve aje. How did it start? Sa bwanake alikuwa anatoka huko. Eh. Akikuja ananipata nikiwa kwa nyumba. Eh. Sasa unajua nilikuwa na room yangu. Mm. Alikuwa anakujanga huko ananiambia ananipenda. Mm. Ameona ni nafanika na yeye. Eh. Mm. Anikamwambia hakuna mm. shida ka fast unafaa uonge na huyu mm. ndio sasa hiyo kitu ifanyike akaniambia mm. pana hii ni siri mm. nikamwambia ni sawa akaniambia anaenda kunirentisha nyumba yangu mm. niachane na mambo ya masomo anaenda kunifungulia business mm. nikamwambia ni sawa hiyo pia ni poa hiyo time nilikuwa nasoma hapa hiyo time nilikuwa nasoma niko tu hapa Nairobi University mm. Nairobi University eh yeah, a uh, uh, Riverstar River, Riverstar yeah hiyo ni hiyo ni high school ama ni college a a hiyo sio high school tu day form 3. Ah. Mm. Alafu sasa hapo ndo tukaanza sasa urafiki. Mm. Sasa tulikuwa tuna meet. Uh-huh. Sasa zingine tunaenda party mahali. Uh-huh. 
tunarudi na ntial hapo na drive hapo uh -huh. tu ni relative sasa tumezoeana mmezoeana mko marafiki eh uh -huh. sasa Yeah, the same time bado mko nyumba moja that time bado eh bado tulikuwa tu hapo so wako amekurentisha hiyo nyumba bado bado uko amenrentisha uh -huh. yeah sasa anti alitupatanga hiyo day mm. kama tulitoka anga huko tumerudi akaniita mm. niende kwa nyu kwa, mm. kwa room yao mhm mm kumbe anti yako alikuwa anarudi mapema hiyo siku hatukujua mhm mm yeah akatupata huko kwa room yake kama tunafanya hizo love mm -hmm. yeah so all of you ninyi wote mlikuwa uchi eh tulikuwa uchi <sighs> ebuni ulize mm. hakuna time ulifeel feel ufiloni aunt yako kuna time unge feel Kenya nafanya ni mbaya because this is your aunt sasa mimi unajua aunt yangu alikuwa anga mkali hakuwa anataka yeah. ni boyfriend yeah. yeah so only feel kama na mimi nataka do uh -huh. nijitengeneze uh -huh. yeah so mzee alikuwa anafanya hizo vitu zote yeah alikuwa anga na struggle na hizo vitu zote alikuwa anafanya pia aunt yako kama kukurembesha nini alikuwa anafanya pia aunt yako ama alikuwa tu ni wewe alikuwa hadi aunt Anti alikuwa anga namsaidia. Na mke kwa situation yenyewe wote mko sitting room na watch TV. Au mm. una feel weird? So una feel too bad sana una feature. Una feature? Hey. Na uliko unasikia wivu ukiona ukiona wana. Hata. Eh, hey, ukiona make up moja mm. maybe wanaanza ku, ku kiss mm. ama na bedroom. Uko unasikia vibaya? Mm. Si sasa ni kisiri. Sasa mnafanya kisiri uwezi fanya hizo vitu za chuki. Mm. Yeah. Lakini unajua wewe ni mwanamke, mm. you're, you're a lady but because you know because people look shy you come to fall in love na eh hey. so all kwa sawa tu tunasema tuna share so hakuna time ungesikia vibawa kina bedroom pamoja na hapana ufone ki yes hii ina maana sha haku anapenda huyo anko ama uliko nampenda juu vile na ku treat ana kutekea ama uliko nampenda juu yeye kama mwanaume nilikuwa nampenda alikuwa na treat smart mm ananifanyia kinyi nataka okay so iko mapenzi kwako So it was it was it was materialistic for you. It was about the material things he was doing. I kwa ni affection ya love ya roho. Hata kumpenda nilimpenda tu. So nilimpenda all round. Yeah, nilimpenda. Na auntie angekuja akubali. Mm. Auntie angekusikia na kubali nyinyi. Unajua kitambo back in the days eh? Yeah. Eh ingekubalika kwa kijiji. Mm. Sunelewa? Mm. Auntie angekuja aseme ungekubali. Sema sasa wako bibi wa pili mm. na mna share eh huyu mzee. Si ndio? ningekubali because unaona vile alikuwa huyo anti alikuwa mkali eh mm. alikuwa anga mkali hakuna malpina yani niko tu hapo ni shule tu ni mm. na nina kamba kuzmina uh -oh. juliza mm. ini niko na go through kwa kile yako each time when all these things are going on There's no time hata ungesikia tu maybe unata maybe unda kuambia NT ukweli ni nini nilikuwa na go through kwa kile yako hii time Sasa zingine nilikuwa anga yani nafikiria nimwambie lakini kwa nimeokopa because nilijua nikimwambia hiyo mm. dendi angenifukuza Ha ah, Ladies and gentlemen this is Kapatana show We have only just started It's, uh, this is uh, <laughs> now before to endele mm. i think i think it's important to for us to to watch clip ya your aunt and your nani anaitwa umesaji nake na jam na aunt ladies and gentlemen we were able to get a clip of the aunt in this case as well so please uh, gallery miss my director please just play for me the clip Let's also just get to hear the aunt as well what is in her mind. Is she still angry? Is she really for reconciliation? Naitwa Melissa Ntadiambo, niko na 26 years old. Nafanya kazi ya mtaani. Alikuwa ameishi yeye ni dada yangu mkubwa. Anaitwa Morina Kinyi. Alikuwa mtu mpole, hakuwa maneno na watu. Yeye ni sisi yangu mkubwa na mimi namfuata. Sasa kuna sina dada yote. So mimi ndio nilichukua muda kumuishi na yeye. Njoo alikuwa na mwana tu, ako na respect na mimi. 
niliongea na mzee wa mbwanangu mara kwanza kuuliza huu mtoto ataishi na nani sasa so, mimi ni sister yake sister mama yake ambaye anamfuata mama yake kani kazichukua muda kumshitu na yeye jo nilikuwa natamani ku kuishi na mtoto mwingine niko na mtoto mmoja nilienda kazi nilitoa kazi ya mtani venye nilienda kazi za asubuhi mzee pia anaendanga asubuhi so kurudi kurudi nikapata mzee kumbe alishatoka kazi mapema kuingia kwa nyumba nilikuwa nasikia sauti na nilishtuka baadaye nikapata kama analala na huyo mtoto wangu so venye niliingia alishtuka baadaye anaona tu kama ananidharau ana sasa nikamuuliza unanichukia una, umenichukuaje venye unalala na sisi zangu na huyu ni mtoto wangu mwenye na na namsaidia alikataa tu ati al, ali alikuwa anaona tu huyu dada yangu ni mrembo kwake baada baada baadaye kutoka kurudi tena nikaona tu anaanza kushikashika huyu sista huyu dadangu tena so nilikuwa naona uchungu nilijiuliza kwa kero kwa nini ananifanyia hivi juu sijawahi mkosea hata yeye pia venye alishaona shapewa hiyo kitu ameanza kunidharau juu amekula kitu yangu so mimi nilikuwa nimeishi uchungu alikuwa anajaribu kuniomba msamani mimi pia nilikataa juu niko na uchungu mimi sikuwa nataka nimpe msamaha hata nilikuwa nataka nimfukuze aende juu alikuwa ameniboa hata alitoka akaenda tena ilichukua ilika kama one week hivi akarudi tena kuniomba msamaha na nikaona tu ananibo sana juu hata alikuwa anataka kuchukua kisuni muwe nayo juu ya hii uchungu nilikuwa naishi tu uchungu kila saa so nafikiria hii mzee wangu huu mzee wangu alikuwa ananifanyia nini yeye bado tulikuwa tuna, tumekosana kabisa hata tukua tunakaa pamoja tumeishi tumeishi kwa nyumba moja lakini kukaa kukula nilikuwa tulikuwa tunakula kando kando lakini nafikia anakula kando yake mimi pia nakula kando yangu nataka kumuuliza ati ame mbona alinifanyia hii hii matendo juu nilikuwa nimeishi uchungu hata kama anaona ananiona hivi ananichukua kama mimi mama yake mbona alikuwa analala analala na mzee wangu i feel very sad juu hiyo ni chungu kwa roho yangu naona tu haifai kutendeka hivyo juu wao mtoto ananitaka mama yake Ladies and gentlemen we'll be back after a short break Oh hey there yes I'm Edith Kimani but forget about me I really want to know about you The African story is our story told by us as told by us Where do you come from I can't just insert myself into Africa and feel African oh my god I feel African Why is it not happening How committed are we as Kenyans in different spheres Where is the problem with youth unemployment Most of these jobs are on connection basis What do you guys do there what's happening what's kicking what's not happening Every single second you have a baby being born in Africa Excuse me? So, let's do this guys. Let's talk to each other. Tuongele shane manze, you, me, everybody in between because right here is where we get to do it. Because this is a safe space. The 77% home of Africa's youth. Yes, youth. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to invite the aggrieved in this situation. Jamami. Karibu sana. Sasa. Yeah. Sawa. Sawa. Karibu, 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 karibu. Ah. Wai. 
ikazi ni ngumu ni mmoja jina yako akakata kusema so sijui kama ni asira ama amesahau sijui jina lake najua jina yake ni Millicent eh anaitwa nga Millicent Millicent mara mwisho mkionana ni lini the last time the two of you mlionana kitu one year hivi one year mm. bado mko na mzee niko na mzee lakini mimi sikaenda yeye pamoja jua hii asira mm. so uli uli hama ma yenda liama hatujaama hmm. tumekaa tu pamoja lakini hatuelewani hata hii theholia ya... hii mwaka moja eh hey, si tunakaa tu hata akilala analala peke yake hmm. yumi siku anajua anaweza nifanyia hivyo so mbona msiachane basi kama ni wani ya mlali pamoja mbona msiachane basi hakuna mali na zaenda na mtoto kwa mtoto hiyo mzigo ni wa ni yake <laughs> so wewe kwa hapo mtoto achungwe achungwe mtoto asamesha mtoto bora mimi nimekula na lala eh eh hebu niulize eh am eh, eh, eh. Hakuna wakati wote ungeshuku Kenya inafanyika kama kuna tu inafanyika. Ningo na shuku lakini eh. Hiyo kiti imeko chungu kwa roho yangu. Hata siku anataka kusikia mambo zake. Hata akianiongelesha mm. atiturudiane pamoja. Mimi siku anataka. Please. Yeah. Anti yako ndio hii. Sasa hii ni nini uwakili yako? Because hapa lazima tu get conclusion, lazima tu get solution, lazima tujue hii mambo inaishaje. Mm. Eh, hey, sasa so pia tusiharibu wakati. Anti yako ndio hii. Anti. Mimi nakumbuka msama. Najua nilikuwa sawa. Sasa hii ndio nakuja unataka kuniomba msama, sasa ile ulikuwa unanifanyia badharao au kwa unajua chochote. Bora umekula tu pesa pesa ikutosha, si ndio? Unajua unajua bwana unakula tu pesa mimi niko tu hapo unataka utengeneze nywele ujivai vizuri ndio anidharau. So leo ndio unakuja kuniomba msamaha. Uliko unatakaje? Hmm? Unajua tu hiyo kitu ilikuwa chungu kwangu. Nisamee. Ningekuwa ni wewe ungefanyaje? Nimejua ni uchungu nisamee. Uko na miaka ngapi? Uko na 21. 21 years. Mm-hmm. Alafu you you 26. Mm. Mm. Mama yake mama yake ndio mkubwa wangu. Ndio mkubwa kwangu. Uko ngapi kwa hiyo? Tuko tu wawili. Wawili. Mm. Mama yake alikuwa na miaka ngapi by the time alikuwa na pasi? Alikuwa na 31. 31. Mm. Okay. So alizaki wana 10 years. ali pasili Mhm. Mm? 2017. 2017. Mm. So 2017 how many years were those Brenda? 2017. 2021 minus Say 3 years, 3 4 years. 4 years. Mm. Ali kwa 31. No mama yako kufu ni kwa? How many years? Ni kwa kama 10 years. Ni kwa 10 years. Mm, ni kwa mtoto baadaye. Eh. Nika, nilikuwa nimeishi na Shosh kwanza. Mm-hmm. Sai yuko how many years? Sai. Eh. Nimekombe ni kwa 21. Sai yuko 21. Na mama kufu ni kwa miaka ngapi? Mama yake ni wa 83. Eh? Ni wa 83 sasa yule kwa sasa 83 mpaka sasa hivi. Mimi nataka kuongea na yeye miaka ya sahi. So mama kufu ni kwa 21. Mama alikufa ni kwa na 10. Ukiwa na 10. Mhm. Yeye ni 2017. Mhm. Kuna hesabu aingie hapo. Kuna hesabu aingie hapo. Kuna hesabu aingie hapo na nikirudi hapo nataka kujua kweli sasa hivi. Alikufa kwa na 16 years.
Bà đi chơi Kujafanya nini kwa isho? 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 Yes, I'm going to make sense. So, I'm going to call you this. I'm going to call you this. I'm going to call you this. When? Millicent. Oh, Millicent. Yes, I'm going to call you this. Mama, I'm going to call you 10 years. I'm going to call you 2017. Saini, Saini 2021, 2021 minus 2017. Four years. What is happening? Kama uko 21. 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 Ni ukweli gani mimi sente unasema? Aonge. Okay. Mama yake alikufa 2017. Mhm. Mm Huyo alizaliwa 19 2000. Wewe ni kama uko na miaka ngapi? Mama ngo alikufa kama niko nasa alikufa ni kwa mdosi. Mdogo ya miaka ngapi? 16 ama 17 hapo. Ni kama ni kwa na 16. 16 years. Husband yake jina yake na? Ni pada Eh? Asbandi ya ui? Eh. Dan. Dan nani? Duncan. Eh, Duncan ni Dan ni Duncan. Duncan nani? Duncan Omondi. Eh? Duncan nani? Omondi. Omondi. Duncan Omondi? Yeah. Ok. So, uki, kisema unampenda? Hmm. Watu watu kisipo menda mbali. Unampenda na ujui majina zake hili. Eh. Au jiji na zake unajua mara kwanza kuna jiji na yake anakutumia ka ka pesa kwa simu nini nini unaweza kukua na jiji na zake mimi si kwa na phone au kwa na phone but ujui jina ya bwana ya anti yako full sana tulikuwa alikuwa na mtanga tu dan eh alikuwa anga na mtanga tu dan sasa unajua vile simulation au unajua mimi nikakinapiwa saa hii najua babangu anaitwa nani mama yangu anaitwa nani Sizo na babaku mwishi na ee, mamaku na juwa ni na ni na ni. Ni unasema tekama ni anti yangu na ishi na ee, nafaa kujua majina zake mbili, namba yake ya simu, ata nikapatika na kwa shida. Mtu wa kwanza napigia ni ee, ata kama ni anti yangu. Mbana alikuwa nakutumia mpesa, ama alikuwa nakuwa ni yiku yuki tweet, alikuwa nafatia cash? Ee. Kile wakati watu ukushua? Sinti ya kitoka kazi ya na nipatia, ili ni haki nitumia, sina phone, na chukua na feature. Ee. Ee. Ok. Millicent Lisa kuna mtoto Sae kuna mtoto mwaja Ndula ni tuwane Na muitanga mamu Jina yake Mtu jina yake Mtu yu wako nituwa Nituwa precious Patience. Uko unajua kana ituwa patience? Vile nili muanza nga mamu sasa jina kitina inivo tu. Kwa hili shika tu mamu. Yani sasa unajua nili muambia na. So, mili senda ukuna au jiji nyamaza? Au jiji na... 
ya mtoto wake. Ya mtoto wake. Eh. Unajua venye bado ni mdogo tunamuita ngatu mama mama. Na kwa miaka ngapi? 7. Ah kuna 7 months. Okay. Seven months. Mm. <laughs> hey. Mimi said Nalis. But you you're a, you're a mama as well. Sindio? Mm. Mtoto mmoja. Mm. Mbuli kwa marafiki na huyo mtoto. Huyo mtoto wake. Eh. Mm. Eh? Au kuanga na kaka karibu na mimi mdogo bado. Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Pilo. Hm? Pilo. Eh, tena kini Pilo. Pilo ni Pilo na gani? Anaitwa anga Lista. Sasa tunamtanga Pilo. Oh, Pilo. Mm. Yeye lakini huyo unajua jina yake ya pili. Eh. Pilo nani? Pilo Evelyn. Pilo Evelyn. Pilo Evelyn. Mm. Ana jina nyingine. Sidwa hata mtoto wangu anaitwa Precious Lopez. Precious Lopez. Eh. Ah. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh For the first time realized the show has taken a totally different direction. Brenda. I don't think we've ever gone to this direction. <laughs> And uh, when we come after the break, now for me my issue is now diverted. Mm -hmm. For me it's not even about reconciliation. I need to know first of all the truth in this story. Clearly Evelyn and Mini and, and uh, I'm sorry, um, Liz and Millicent, mm -hmm. there's so much that you guys don't know about each other. Mm -hmm. Um, you are fumbling and mumbling and I need to get to the bottom of this story. I need to know first of all is this a do you guys literally know each other? So ladies and gentlemen, we we'll be back after show break. This is Kupatana. Remember, you can be able to watch the full episodes of Kupatana show by clicking on the link right here below.